Today we got a good list making sure that you do not learn to code. That's right. You are the type of person who wants to make all the wrong decisions, and we today are going to tell you how to do it, how to make sure, despite your best efforts, that you still don't learn how to code. Let's dive into it. While you're out there spending all that time not learning to code, might I recommend something to fill the time. We have the Humble Monthly Bundle. Every month you get over $100 worth of games, and they'll give you some right away when you order. In this case, it's Quake Champions, Elder Scrolls Online, and the Legends of Heroes of Skyrim. If you're interested in that, uh, use my link down below and you'll help me out in the process. Thanks, guys. Before we get started, some of you may be wondering, is this guy wearing a robe? It's questions like that that make you not learn to code, all right? Stop asking stupid stupid questions, pip decisions, don't worry about it, all right? So let's dive into number one right now. So number one, you don't code, just straight in. You're the type of guy who likes to put a picture of his laptop, probably a Mac, at a coffee shop that he goes to once a week and writes about one line of code and puts hashtag grind at 11 a.m. in the morning thinking he's doing something. That's you. You're the type of guy who doesn't code every day. That that You're killing it. You're a special kind of stupid, right? You're the type of guy who just codes every two weeks and doesn't understand why he can't seem to grasp it why he can't seem to land an entry-level job that's you you're killing it man if you can do that you can make sure today you don't learn to code all right so number two number two when you do code you know when you do code the few times you do you do to do apps baby you're you're to doing this shit out of the world right you javascript to do app jquery to do app that's all you do if you can't find a tutorial that walks you through every aspect of the world's simplest app you don't do it forget all that you don't ever build anything custom i need a blog post I need a video and then I'm going to follow it and copy the code. Sometimes I might even rip it off the repo and just change the title. That's you. You build the simplest things that have been built tenfold with zero originality. No originality at all. And and you're killing it. Keep it keep on doing it. And if you really want to get spicy, you might just do like a calculator to spice it up a little bit cuz that's never been done before. But the two do apps is your shit, right? That's that's how you roll, right? You, and you never get better. You, you 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 never get better. You start with the two to do apps, and you keep doing the to do apps, right? You never progress. You always start at those simple projects, and you keep doing the simple projects with zero originality. You're killing it, all right? Just keep it going. So uh, the next one is the the this is a cryptocurrency term, as far as I know. This is the first time I heard it, but I think it I think it describes you and your stupid and how you can continue to make sure that you don't learn to code. You have what is called FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And what I mean by that is that you are always worried about jobs getting outsourced, jobs getting replaced, jobs doing this, jobs doing that. You say, you know what, I don't care about the stats, about the the job growth being in the positive, growing faster than the average job. I don't care about how Everyone is salaries are very high right now and even if they drop you'd still be making more than no I don't I don't care about that. I don't care that there's a ton of jobs. No no no. I'm worried about just other stuff that doesn't really make sense. I'm worried about oh my god, the WordPress jobs. The WordPress going to take over. The 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 oh my god, they're going to outsource all our jobs. No, that's what I'm worried about all the time. So much so that I talk about that all the time. I don't really do that much research about it. And I make sure on top of it to worry so much that I don't even code my two my two hours every two weeks. That's you. You got the FUD down, man. You are worried, you are fearful, and you have doubts. So much so that you never get started. And when you do, it's just hashtag grind every, every two weeks in the Starbucks, right? So number four, you go solo, baby. You don't know, you don't need anybody else's help. Because you already know how not to code. You don't need to get a mentor. You don't need to watch courses and videos by some know-it-alls. You know it all. You know it all, baby. And you tell everyone, get out of here. I don't need any of your help. I don't need any of your advice. I am a coding god. I started a coding god. And I will continue to be a coding god. I don't care if nobody's going to hire me. Because you don't need to know how to code. 
because you're trying not to learn to code. So you already know, you already have all the answers for that. You don't need any help. You'll need to join Facebook groups and listen to people share stuff, news, and stay up to date on the community. No, no, no. You don't need to. You don't need to go to meetups where qualified speakers who should be charging decent amounts of money will d- devote their time for free and help you. You don't need to. Go, you don't need to go and build your own projects. No, no, no. You already know it. You're gonna go solo into this. You don't need any help. All right. You don't need that. Stop with that. Wasting your time. We're trying not to learn to code today, baby, and you're killing it. All right. Number five. Number five. This is this is crucial. This is really really crucial. Um, occasionally, you'll hit that rock bottom, right? You'll hit that. Holy shit! Maybe I actually do want to learn to code, and you'll say to yourself, "Am, was, am I doing something wrong? Am I? Am I? Am, is it is it not enough that I I code one hour every two weeks? I'm putting." Hashtag work, hashtag grind, hashtag sweat code on there, right? Hashtag mother effing coding God. That's what you're throwing out on there. And you're saying, but it ain't working, right? I'm doing to-do apps. I got to-do. I have a to-do app to do two to-do apps, right? You're killing it, right? You're, You're worried beyond belief. You got the FUD going strong. You're saying, I've been doing this solo this whole time. I'm killing it. I don't need anyone else's advice. But you get you get worried. And this is when the number five top thing, you start making excuses, baby. It ain't me. It's them. It's the, this entire coding community. It's rigged against us people who are trying not to learn to code. It ain't fair, right? It ain't fair. I'm learning Pascal, man. Where are the Pascal jobs? What's going on, man? You start making excuses because it can't be you. We've already said that, right? You're 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 working two hours every two weeks. You're killing it, baby. But you ain't gotta worry about that, right? Because you're making excuses for yourself. It's not. It's everybody's else. It's everyone else's fault. We already know this. You know this. I know this, right? It's everyone else's fault. It's not that you're not working hard enough. It's not that you're you're uh, building to do apps and never anything else. You know, we all gotta start somewhere. And uh, if you stay at the to do. You're always going to have something to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so <laughs> so that's you, baby. You're making excuses. You ain't got to worry about nothing else. So these are my five ways to make sure that you don't learn to code. All right? And if you're doing these, keep on doing them, and you'll keep on not learning to code, and you'll keep on getting nowhere. Number six, bonus six, <laughs> learn yourself some WordPress. Learn some Squarespace, learn some Wix, and we can make sure that on top of it, you don't learn to code on that. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, a little bit of fun today. I appreciate you all. I hope this maybe rang true for some of you to get it together. Um, If you don't know how to code, that's okay. Uh, If you're trying to learn to code, that is admirable and it's going to be hard. Um, What I want to say to you is... Um, if it's something you want, it's achievable, but you have to work hard. And, uh, I know a lot of people don't. And if you'll notice nine out of 10 people are really grinding. They ain't got the time to tell you that they're grinding. They're too busy grinding. They're not worried about showing the world that they're grinding because they're out there grinding. You know, I'm in a robe right now cause I'm sick and I'm filming this video cause it's part of my schedule. Um, you know, and other people are grinding out their day jobs with their kids and everything else. So I hope whatever your grind is, <laughs> whatever your grind is, I hope that you are actually doing it. So best of luck to you in your, your coding adventure. As always, guys, I appreciate you. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, support me on Patreon, all that great stuff. I will see you in the next video. And hopefully in between now and then, you've done some work. Hey, baby, what's one way uh, to make sure you don't learn to code? You gonna put me on blast like that? That's how we doing it? That's how we doing it today? Quick shout out to deviceplus.com. If you're interested in the latest IOTs, hacks, do-it-yourself projects revolving around Arduino and Raspberry Pi, they have some great how-to guides. I, I highly encourage you to check them out and thanks for watching.